Hello, hello, hello. Good uh, morning, VC. Um, you have to ignore the clock behind me. It has been stopped now for four months. But at least with a stopped clock, you know it's right at least twice a day. Someone told me that. So um, it doesn't matter if the clock is working or it's stopped. Um, you know it's right twice a day. It's a bit of logic. Um, but I've been playing a lot of music since I've been come home. Um, I travelled back yesterday from uh, down south and uh, the trip doesn't get any better and um, got through Birmingham New Street and uh, I was on the lookout for rock stars there because you never know who you could bump into there and uh, I got home safely and uh, I've just done a bit of research on a lot of the albums I've bought I'm going to show you a couple of newbies but um, I had a little pleasant shock this morning with this CD I played it this morning and uh, it's got a track called Under the Same Sun and uh, I did realise it was a Scorpions track. I love that song. I don't know if anybody's familiar with it. It's just a fantastic song. But I didn't realise it was a Scorpion singing it. And uh, it sort of brought a tear to me eye. Be a live and learn. Um, the second CD I want to show. And I've had this a couple of weeks. This is Till Lindemann. Now, Lindemann, Till Lindemann, is the lead singer of Rammstein. There's only one difference between this CD and a Rammstein CD. He sings in English. Um, it's called Skills in Pills. Um, it's got some great pictures inside. It's a nice little digi pack. Um, you've got that, and you've got some nice little pictures. Um, it's nice to hear him sing in English, but I warn you, the lyrics are a bit uh, risque. Um, but um, whoever's drawn all this is really good. You've got him dressed up in all these um, guises. As you can see by the title, um, Treat with Caution. But uh, if you expect anything different, um, you won't get it with this CD. It just sounds like a Rammstein CD to me. The only difference is he sings it in English instead of all the Rammstein stuff where they sing it in German. But uh, it was a good price and I bought it the other week. And um, I really like the art. It's really, really good. And uh, it's a very good CD. There's some good tracks on it and uh, I really enjoyed it but if you like industrial metal um, this sort of stuff this is right up your street a um, lot of my friends don't um, but I love the melodic stuff uh, that's all the new stuff I think today but uh, some of the, most of this stuff I found, I found out a bit of information um, apparently this album's a real gem it's a Swedish um, hard rock band um, called Trash and they came out of Stockholm, Sweden, and this is their 1985 record, and it is absolutely awesome. The only thing is, it's like ACDC meets Crocus, and that sort of vein it is. And if you shut your eyes, the lead singer of this band, which is uh, Tony Roy Taylor, does sound a bit like Brian Johnson at ACD. But there's some killer, killer rock songs on it. There's a couple, one, one or two duffers. There is like Boogie Woogie Man, uh, Rock and Roll Riot. Um, it's just some great, great tracks on there. It really rocks as well. And uh, I think Greg Moore, uh, Greg Moore, Blackmore Rules would love this album in his collection. It's not too heavy, so it won't damage his heart. Um, what's it called? Pacemaker. But it just rocks and rocks and rocks. It's really good. And it has mixed reviews. Some say they're a second rate garage band, which I disagree with. But uh, there, there is a gem of a record. Um, it, it's an insult to call them a garage band. They're really, really good. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed this album. And if you could pick it up for, say, th three or four quid, definitely buy it. But unfortunately, I had a look at it on last night. I mean, the CD is about 30 to 40 quid. I think they've reissued it on the CD. And that will set you back some big money. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed this album. It took some unfair stick. But to me, it's a right little <coughs> uh, gem. Um, I'm glad I've discovered it. I'm really rocking out to that. Now, I've got um, Neely Chris to thank for. I hope you're okay, bud. I've done a lot of research on this album. And uh, apparently, I've shown it before. But it was the death of UFO in 1983, as Chris told me. And basically, the band were on their way out. And the family trees, uh, everybody who's had anything to do with the band, because apparently they had more ups and downs of Spinal Tap. And this is a sort of their death row. You've got it on the gravestone, UFO, 
you can actually see it on the gray, that grey stone. Um, it's got UFO written on. But it's a killer of an album. I haven't stopped playing this album. Uh, it's got all the big hits like Doctor Doctor on it. And it's got some cracking like Fall For Your Loving by White Snake. Uh, you just can't go wrong with this album. But I paid a bit of cash for it because I've never seen it before. Uh, it is a gatefold. So I have shown it in my last video. So I'm not getting it out. But it's, it's a killer pickup. Um, the next two album is the Greg the Egg Blackmoor Rules. I made a slight mistake. Um, I think I've got it somewhere. I thought one was made in Japan on vinyl. But um, I was going to show this on another film I do. But unfortunately, I haven't been very well Christmas. <clears throat> and everything's got messed up. And I'm going to have to resort it out. I'm going to shoot these, the films I intend to do over Christmas soon. Uh, that's why a lot of CDs and stuff haven't been held up. But this is my Deep Purple... Um, vinyl bit of it anyway vinyl collection i've had these two albums forever and one is uh, deep purple the anthology and this album goes for mon good money in record stores and uh, it's a cracking uh, release it's got all their massive hits on and um, i've had this album probably since the, when it came out it's got a killer cover inside you've got all the usual info, info on them and I think I might be wrong, but this was the first one I bought. So I, I used back in the day, being a bit poor, I couldn't afford to buy all the albums. I wish I had, because so they're very expensive in record stores. So I used to get an anthology uh, to tell me what the songs were. It's got all the all the guys in it who were in Deep Purple, all the various lineups, and all their massive hits on the front. And um, it's got it's just a great album. Um, it's got a sticker on, but I've never took that off. And our price was like a, a generic record store. It's closed down now. But I paid a tenner for it, which was, I can't remember when. But I reckon it was the um, 80s. Um, just trying to see when it came out. It's 1985 this came out. So it was about round about then, I think I bought it. Um, so yeah, I got this one, um, Greg. The next one, I don't know why, but it goes for silly money in UK record stores. And uh, it's this one. This is Deep Purple Mark 1 and 2 lineups uh, comp uh, chart. And um, it's just stupid. Um, it's got the Mark 1 lineup. You've got stuff like Rush, uh, Mandrake Root, Why Didn't Rosemary, and Hey Joe, and uh, Spike 2. I think that's. Uh, I think it's Spike 2. You have to excuse me, my eyesight's terrible. Uh, then you've got the Mark II lineup and what they did, it's a very early pur uh, purple album. It's on the Electra Roller al um, label. And this album, I'm glad I got it now, because I've seen it's a lot worse condition than this, and I've seen it at 20 quid, 30 quid. And it's sort of a lot, lot, condition, lot worse condition than this. Um, I can't remember when I bought it, but it's got all the information there. You've got a guy looks like his abdomen there and all the records there but that one there is a 20 pound album in our record store greg that was the album i saw the other day that's all the deep purple albums you get a lot of info about the band and uh, as i say this is a i don't know what it's like in canada mate but this is a phenomenally expensive record in the uk um it's got the per uh, looks like a custom label the purple label and this album came out in 70... Oh, that's not when it came out. It looks like a German pressing as well. Yeah, it's a German pressing. And, um, yeah, it's got better now. It's got all the Mark II on, like uh, Smoke on the Water, Woman from Tokyo, Highway Star. Then you've got Mark II there. It's just, I'm glad I got this album. It's just a fan... If you like Deep Purple, um, it's just an amazing, amazing album to get. But I don't know why it's so... If it is rare or whatever... I don't know why, but record stores seem to charge so much money for it. Um, it's just a mystery to me. Uh, that's not a Toya Wilcox song. <laughs> it's just a general mystery to me. But I'm signing off now. Hope you enjoyed this little offering. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. Keep the peace. Take care. Bye.